Hey, y'all. Hey, love. This is Asia Chardonnay, a.k.a. All This Body, and this is about to be our first podcast from the van chain. <laughs> and I hope this one goes better because uh, we had, like, this much chopped off of my head. It's really hard to get this thing set up when it ain't, you know. But anyway, um... Again, this is a podcast coming from the Vanshin. So you will hear cars whizzing by, uh, helicopters possibly, ambulance, police, see people walking their dogs, dogs barking, cats meowing. Never mind that, okay? Um, the one thing that I wanted to chime in on, and I wanted to, I didn't really want my first episode to be about this, but I didn't want to keep missing opportunities about stuff that I wanted to talk about and discuss uh one of which is the and a lot of people are talking about it especially heavy in the comedy world and that is the tiffany haddish and airy spear stuff ah and for anybody who hasn't seen the video um i'll actually and i hate to even link this in my bio or in the description but i'll leave a link for informational inform inform informative informational i think it's purposes only and that's just so y'all can have a reference of what i'm referring to but um there's a video that include tiffany haddish airy spears and a little boy i'm not sure how old the boy is maybe between the ages of like i'm gonna say between the ages of like seven and nine maybe somewhere around there and uh so pretty much in the video i'm gonna give y'all a synopsis of the video real quick for the people who haven't seen it. For the people who have seen it, I know y'all triggered. I know y'all cringed about it. It's a very cr- warning, warning, cringe worthy shit, okay? Um, but pretty much what it is, is it's a video where Ari Spears is playing uh, an older relative who is left to watch. Uh, the little boy which is tiffany haddish's son and of course tiffany haddish is playing the mom so the first scene tiffany haddish she asks her uncle hey can you watch such and such whatever the boy's name is while she runs an errand then you have this creepy ass living room that they're in (laughs) um and aries spears is sitting on the couch he has a newspaper in hand two newspapers drops the first newspaper or the and technically the second newspaper and then in front of that he has a newspaper that has two cutouts for the eyes so he can look at the little boy who tiffany haddish dropped off and she dropped him off and he was in his drawers the little boy is in little boy panties now i just have (laughs) the first thing is you know just even with the video itself and the storyline behind it all what kind of mama is dropping off what kind of unfit mama are you that you dropping off your son and he's just in panties you fully clothed and your boy just got on panties what the hell go- <laughs> what is going on but okay so he drops out and the little boy is playing with a toy in the middle of the floor in the living room and again airy spears is watching the little boy through the eye cutouts with very fitting music which is r kelly's my mind is telling me no that's what's playing in the background and not as if that's not already like uh, okay asia all right enough you know with the story but at one part in this first scene, and mind you, the video is only like three and a half minutes. Within that first scene, the little boy is like spread eagle. There are close up of the little boy's ass. And there's also a scene where Airy Spears takes a Airy Spears takes a bottle of like baby oil. And it's almost like he's doing it like almost like as if he's ejaculating. And then he rubs baby oil on the little boy, like on his back and on his shoulder. What the fuck? Let me let me finish the synopsis. Let me finish the 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 video. Then there's a, the next scene getting dropped off again or uh, being left. Maybe they live together because the little boy is in the tub at this time. And then Tiffany Haddish comes in and asks the uncle if you can watch the little boy. Now, the little boy is in the tub. I'm going to hope. I hope 
the little boy had pants like had underwear on maybe the same boy panties he had on in the first scene i pray he had on some kind of underwear with this type of video i don't know like it wouldn't surprise me if the little boy didn't for real have underwear on or some type of swim trunks in the damn water because again who what type of adults do this type of video with a child but anyway um he's in the tub he's playing with you know another t like he's playing in the water and so forth and then there's a scene where like Aerie Spears is like lifting up the boy's leg and taking the like this little sprayer thing and pouring water on the boy all seductively and then somehow he ends up in the tub with the boy now he is fully clothed when he gets in the tub but still mm, trying to figure out where this is trying to figure out where the funny comes in because you got two comedians in this and a little boy still no funny we on scene two ain't nothing but three scenes in the whole thing still on scene two and we ain't got to the funny yet got to the disturbing we didn't we <laughs> oh we have landed at disturbing we <laughs> uh but not at the funny we have not gotten to the funny yet all right boom third and final scene plot twist and this is where now they're in the kitchen. Uh, Aerie Spears, who's again playing the uncle, he is in boxer shorts. And Tiffany Haddish asked to leave the son with him again. Um, but the plot twist is this time, instead of uh, Aerie Spears uh, fetishizing and fantasizing about the little boy with the newspaper, it's now the little boy with the newspaper with the eyes cut out watching airy spears and then uh in that same scene the little boy rubs baby oil on airy spears now i feel like my description is enough because i pretty much painted the picture of the video i feel like that's enough to where enough enough adults won't even want to watch the damn video i'm mad that that video is now in my head you know what i'm saying like i forget to i forget what i ate yesterday you know i forget what i did earlier in the week and i'm mad that that is just tucked in my brain now this disturbing ass video but again so that's what's going on for the people who haven't seen it and for the people who have seen it i'm sorry to put y'all through that again i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but everybody's talking about it right now and the first thing that I got to say, uh, Ari, this is what the fuck you get for coming at a big bitch, okay? You think you can, you, you think you can talk about Lizzo and what no, and and the uh, the Lizzo be eating babes wasn't gonna come at you, boy, could never. And and, and I'm not even gonna get into that video about what he said about Lizzo. Um, how he tried to come in <laughs> at him at her and it's because airy looks aries looks the way he looks he's not aging gracefully like <laughs> but there is a comment that he said he said he did say he would like to think he's at least handsome boy at least means the bottom meaning that at the very least you're handsome that means you think you could possibly be more than handsome that's the only thing i'm gonna say about the video where he talked about lizza and i and i'll drop a, a link to that video as well but anyway my two cents on the video is one why would any adult any adult and i mean tiffany haddish airy spears the cinematographer if it was one because a part of me feels like airy spears recorded this on his iphone uh even the editor but again i feel like airy spears probably probably would have been the editor why any adult would want to put a child in that type of position no pun intended like why would you want to even include like a kid kid this is not an adult acting as a child depicting a child this is an actual child why would anybody be okay with that and like i know i keep bringing aries up and not mentioning tiffany haddish because i ain't gonna lie y'all i'm trying to give tiffany haddish to the benefit of the doubt like <laughs> and i'm being so serious. i know i chuckle when i say this but i'm being so serious right hand i'm going to and especially since this was in 2014 this is an old video 
I'm going to hope because I've seen previous videos where uh, they mentioned that Tiffany couldn't read that well back in the day. Godfrey talks about how he taught her how to read. I'm hoping, I am hoping, and Tiffany, yo, you, hey, you better, hey, you better use this, probably, shit. I'm hoping that she didn't read or didn't understand what she read in the script. That's that's the only way you can get a pass at that. Now, she did make a comment where she says that she that she didn't uh she wasn't there during the the scenes uh that the little boy was played in, but I find that hard to believe cuz it's like where where'd you go? Did you did you just dip? Like as soon as these things were like mm, Mm, I don't know. I don't like. Maybe she went into a back a back room. Like like yeah, you done here, cool. And she went outside. Maybe smoked a cigarette to play it on the phone. I don't know. But I just feel like any adult in their right mind should have put a stop to that. Because another rumor, and, and this is alleged. You know, this is my first episode of the podcast, so I don't want to. I want to make sure I'm using these terms. You know, because I don't want to get sued. Uh, and somebody they try to repossess my mansion. You know what I'm saying? But allegedly, these were these. This child was left in her care, like she's friends of the child, because one of my first things was, well, where's the mama? Where's the parents? You know what I'm saying? Because even if Tiffany didn't read the script, that parent should have read the script, and that parent should have said no nah, and cut that shit all the way out. Because there's not a there's not an amount of money in the world. That would allow me to allow my child to be involved in something like this. I don't care who it is. You know what I'm saying? And that, I mean, in 2014, let's be real. Airy Spears was the same Airy Spears in 2022. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You wasn't big shit pop. Mad TV been gone. You know what I'm saying? So, and even if it wasn't, again, like, I'm not going to allow that, like, a status to cloud my judgment on what I'm allow for my child and I don't even have kids but I feel like that's simple I got enough nieces and nephews to know better or even if I didn't a child in general it could be a child that I don't even know walking around in some underwear I'm like why the fuck is this kid just in their underwear you know what I'm saying there's so many things to it that it doesn't require to be a parent it just really requires common sense bottom line common sense only you know what I'm saying? To know that that's not okay. Especially not only the positions that they had the the child in, spread eagle, zooming in on the ass, but just a, an adult rubbing baby oil on a child other than actually moisturizing a fucking child for because you don't want the kid to be ashy or a kid moisturizing a grown man. Mm, that's not okay. Not okay. Never will be okay. Not even a little bit okay. You know what I'm saying? Um... And, and then <laughs> I seen a video where Ari Spears talks about this is a shakedown. Boy, who is trying to shake you down? Like, sh you? Shake you down, Aries. I feel like he... <laughs> he th When did Mad TV go off? Because I feel like Ari Spears thinks he's, like, still somebody. Like, nobody's checking for you. And it was funny because even when I had to ask myself this question, like, why are people still interviewing Ari Spears? Like, you washed up. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, because you always, he's an against the grain ass person. Like, everything is just, you just got to go against the grain. And I know some, you ain't got to agree with everything that's going on. And that's fine. But it's just some things you can just tell somebody's just trying too hard to be adverse. Just want to be the opposite of everything yeah, like go on go on but then I thought about it like I have a new podcast you know what I'm saying and I would probably also go for some H-list celebrities you know what I'm saying because they're going to be easier to access than like Dave Chappelle or Kevin Hart you know these big celebrities so I can see why he's still getting interviewed but it's like come on dude <laughs> like the st like, and I'm just only bringing that up because he said the stuff that he said about Lizzo, which I really, truly believe is what sparked all this. You know what I'm saying? Because what, what, what a winky dink that he makes the statement about Lizzo and then what a week later this video drops and then there's more videos. 
of Aerie Spears that's dropping that I know he's hating that they that he ever be, was a part of something like this. Or I don't know, because again, they're an against the grain ass person. And it's like, he says that he can't make comments or talk about the video because, you know, I guess litigation or what have you. But it's like, what could you say? There is nothing that you could say to justify that. The, you know what? I lied. The only thing he could say to justify this is if he were to say that that child was 18 years old. That's the only thing. That is legit the only thing that would justify how this makes sense. And again, at the end of the video, they try to cover it up. And it, This is just a guise, but they try to use, uh, there's some typing at the end that says, uh, beware who watches your kids or be careful of who watches, so, some type, some, something to that effect. Um, and again, I, I, I personally think it's just a guise. I don't think it's any legitimacy to it. I think he... Aries probably came up with this skit idea, this short film, whatever, and just to kind of ease it over a little bit, smooth it over a little bit. Yeah, let's put this at the end. Because, again, you could have depicted this whole beware of who you leave your kids with without any of the shit that you included, especially because none of it was funny. Like, literally zero of it was funny. So, in my mind, it's like, why are we... <laughs> <sighs> I just feel like, um, and oh, 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 because they talk about this shakedown and Aries mentioned or somebody mentioned uh, of a $15,000. I don't know if this was a previous settlement or this is what was being asked from Aries at one point, but 15000 was being thrown out there as um, like uh, in a suit to for this situation. That 15000 about to set Aries back. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he going hard yeah this 15,000 about to set you back Aries is but you're gonna have to do several daggone uh venues uh to get this money back because I, I know I know hey hey <laughs> Aries that's what you get and Tiffany let this be a lesson because if you did read the script girlfriend you know better like, why would you even be a part of something like that just as a woman? Like, regardless if you got kids or not, I feel like women got this certain little thing that clicks into them about, you know what I'm saying, nurturing and so forth and so on. Why would you even be a part of something with a kid? I just, I that part I don't get. I, I don't get it, like, legit at all. Um... I feel like I got so many thoughts about this whole thing, but my mind is just all over the place. And because this is my first podcast, I ain't really uh, write down my thoughts. I ain't get my bullet points together. Maybe next episode, not even maybe next episode, we will have a better uh, bulletin or outline of what we're going to discuss about the situations. But I'll make sure to drop the cringy ass videos, description links in the uh, links in the description um shout out to y'all thank y'all for watching this i know it was short i'm gonna keep it short and simple um this was my first episode of i don't quite have a name for it yet uh, i was going to keep it with the brand because you know i'm all this body i was going to keep it with the brand and maybe naming all this talk because uh, i really like that but i wanted to incorporate the fact that i'm in the vanshin um so i came up with like vanshin van chat but i feel like that's too wordy uh, conversion conversations, but I don't want people to think I'm trying to keep get them delivered. I, I, <laughs> uh, cargo conversations, even though this is not really a cargo van, but you get the drift. Um, so if y'all come up with something, if y'all help me come up with an idea and I like it, whoever has the best idea and comments below or um, even messages me a, a great name I promise I will use I, I, talk, I thought, came up with my girlfriend came up with van talk so, so this I, I'm still picky with it but I will actually collect all the names that I come up with we can vote on them or whoever comes up with the best one I will give you a gift I'll give you a gift. It may be monetary, may not be monetary, may be uh, merch. Will you'll get a gift? You'll get something if y'all can help me with this. Um, but otherwise, please like, subscribe, 
Um, I'll be doing more of these podcast episodes. In fact, I'll be actually interviewing other entertainers. So I'll be interviewing not just comedians, but musicians, producers, directors, writers. Um, I'll bring them all into the mansion and we'll have a discussion. We'll interview them. I I had to postpone this whole thing because this was actually supposed to drop months ago but uh la's heat been off the chain (laughs) and i'm used to it in here but everybody else ain't so i wanted to wait until it got cooler before i started inviting folks into the (laughs) mansion trying to ask them questions and it's hot i don't like to be asked a million and one questions when it's hot so um but more podcast episodes coming soon if there's any type of um conversation or topics that come to mind that y'all are interested in knowing about or hearing about please drop them in the comment section below if you want to keep getting this heat please subscribe to the channel i finally feel like i found my lane because i like to talk you know what i'm saying like the van life videos they cool but i like to talk so uh subscribe more videos coming soon but thanks y'all i love y'all to death uh and shout out to the first episode y'all